Welcome, this is the energy vibration for the Virgo Sun, Moon and Rising sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. It has been a wonderful perform first half of the year. We are at now the second half of the year. This is the energy vibration reading for the Virgo Sun, Moon and Rising sign. I want to say to each and every person out there, I want to thank you Virgo so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, because you guys have been rocking it in the week readings. So, so, I mean, you guys have been you know supporting me thank you because you guys are my um my um zodiac sister sign thank you thank you so much and um i want to extend my welcome to all newcomers um please subscribe and um you know thumbs up leave a message it is good because as we put our messages out there we are healing other people with the messages that we leave behind okay this is going to be a wonderful um, month for you guys. It's a month of, um, yeah, it's the changing of the guards, I should say. And why I say the changing of the guards is because there's a lot of stuff that is happening in this month. There is um, changes that are happening in this month. And these changes are happening because the energy of the month is the energy of the star. I'm trying to find the card. So... With the energy of the star, what happened is that you're working um, with the element of hair. And by working with the element of hair, the zodiac energy is going to begin the month with water. And as we change um, 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 in the middle of the month, it's going to be we're changing from water to fire. So here we have the energy of uh, the um, the energy of the um star which is the energy vibration of the month okay the energy of the star has the energy vibration of the month this month we have four four weeks in this month whatever it is there is four weeks in this month and we're working um to bring forth wonderful um positive energy wonderful positive energies um in this month my telephone is going okay so Whatever the situation is, the energy of the star is going to heal this. The star is always the heal, and the star is always letting you know that this is a month which the universal beams and guides and angels are coming out, and the intellect galactic um, councils are here and they're working with us. Um, so um, for the people who connect with them, um, they're working for you, especially for the people in the fourth and fifth dimension. It's going to be a wonderful positive month because you'll be learning how you connect with them and how you work with them. Okay. The cosmic energy of the cosmic family is also here that is going to come in and help you, um, to bring, um, positive energies in your life. Okay. So remember again, the energy of, uh, um, the month is going to be the sign of, uh, um the star the star this is a wonderful profound month because it's a month of healing um the heart chakra is here so whatsoever is happening um in the first week the art chakra but it's going to the art chakra is um whenever you heal the art chakra you're going to be able to communicate with other people and uh, to bring healing to other people in um, their lives and your lives okay so whatever is happening if you're working with people you're going to be able to open up uh, their heart chakra in the first week in the second week um, art break and loss is in the reverse form so that means you have no art break and, and, and loss you're having you're you're having gratitude to whatsoever that is happening the energy of gratitude and you have um, the, the that is the purple energy so um your color in that second week is going to be purple and um no more heart aches it's as if you learn how to um deal with all those pain and emotional pain and heart aches okay for some people watch out in the second week for the night of wands that's a dishonest person he is uh, actually taking something from you without even knowing the knight of wands okay so be aware of who this knight of wands is 
as we look at the third week which is your favorite week and I'm seeing that a lot of you earth sign people are vibrating with positive energies in the third week so whatsoever is happening the third week is going to be a positive outlook because I've been seeing this for earth sign people but the third week for you guys is a positive so whatsoever is happening be aware of this positivity this positive endeavor that is happening in the third week the third week is wonderful because you have the energy of the world you have miracles and um, you have um, this is good you have miracles let me look for my glasses uh, in the third week this is a powerful week for the women the third week so you have miracles and you have the hermit um, so the hermit is as if the universal angels are going to teach you to connect in the third week and which is extremely good as we look at the fourth week um, we are having another art chakra energy so it's it's all about cleansing the art chakra because we have two time green in the, the fourth week is emotional loss emotional loss and emotional loss can be the energy vibration of certain aspect of yourself you're losing certain aspect of yourself you're changing certain aspect of yourself but you're gaining wisdom so you're emotional you're feeling emotional loss because you're changing the vibration of who you are so by changing the vibration of who you are you're actually accepting the inner wisdom and I wisdom so it's as if your spiritual guides and angels are helping you to release certain emotional things because if your parents passed over if um, a loved one passed over and that sort of a thing and you have been holding on to it for a very long time you are going to realize that this is going to change in the fourth and last week because it's as if the spirit world the angels and guide the intergalactic angels will be working with um, you in this week and this is going to bring a positive things because uh, you have the energy of strength and what I'm looking at in this week is that you have um, the energy of water whatsoever that was blocking you is going to be lifting whatsoever that's blocking you is going to be lifting you have uh, in the fourth week strength which is uh, um, one of those um, the things that you need to uh, find in a strength it's going to be changes number five is going to be your energy vibration for this month number five there is a lot of changes that are happening number five is going to be your energy vibration because there's a lot of changes that are happening and um, with these changes uh, it's bringing you forward it's like a spiritual month for you guys it's like the hermit is here and in and, and and strength the hermit and strength is here and it's the green is working with the the chakras okay the color of green is prominent in your week in the first week and in your fourth week so it's working with your chakras and what you're working with your art chakra is that you have no more heartaches and loss you have learned to deal with these art eight and loss and it's as if you are accepting whatever has happened and you're walking away from it and you're leaving it behind you and you're looking forward and the first week is going to be good because people are going to be connecting with you in the first week in the second week there is going to be a dishonest person this is the night the night of wands whoever does energy of the night of wands it can be an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius okay um, okay I love Sagittarius people I don't have the feeling that it's Sagittarius, Sagittarius people. I have the feeling that it is the energy of um, um, the Knight of Wands. I don't know who that person is. It's an Aries or a Leo, a heartbreak and loss, whatever is happening. Um, maybe that's what he thinks you have done to him, that sort of a thing but that situation is playing up in the second week second week is kind of but the third week is a really positive week because you have the energy of the world you have the energy of miracles and you have the energy of uh, the hermit which is good and as you end the third week you're going in emotional loss which you're losing the pain and the emotional pain but yet still you're gaining wisdom and this is going to be good whatever that was blocking you is no longer blocking you okay I am going to go into detail so we're starting with the first week I've changed the way as usual you guys know I change you have the full the most foremost is the heart chakra 
whatever is happening to you Virgos out there you need to heal your heart chakra because you carry the energy vibration of the heart so you need to heal the heart chakra whatsoever is happening you need to heal your heart chakra okay um, you need to call upon Archangel Shamuel you ask your guides and angels to help you to heal your heart chakra because you need this healing you it's an emotional imbalance that you're you have been carrying for a very long time and you need to ask for healing for this emotional unbalance when it when I close my eyes I'm trying to focus in on whatever energies and information that's are coming through so it's a lot of healing that needs to take place for you Virgo so that you can move forward in your life and the first week is going to be the healing of the heart chakra that is coming up and you need to heal the situation whatever the situation is you have to let go of the person that you have lost you have to let go of the pain that you have endured um, by other people and by doing that what will happen is that you will have self worth self worth by healing your heart chakra you will have self worth and what will come in is that love the page of love someone of a young energy vibration the page of love is always message of love coming in to you so whatever the situation is that you were or broken that you have been carrying emotional pain all your lives uh, by um, healing this and asking for healing your self-worth will come back and with your self-worth coming back you will see that men people start to treat you differently and love is a clean sort of energy vibration of love coming into you and this is going to be wonderful and I want to say to each and every person out there whoever this message is vibrating with um, you need to understand that love is uh, you know forgiveness forgiveness healing yourself uh, finding forgiveness for uh, understanding certain aspect of how things were connecting um, because you're an earth sign person and you're, you're changing because you're changing from Virgos going back uh, to a fire sign because you're going back to the Leos uh, so you need to understand that uh, um, you need to deal with this aspect of uh, the emotional healing before you can balance out yourself in a fire sign energies that is going to happen in the in the years to come because you're changing your you have work on two energy vibration you work on the Virgo side and the Leo side okay and you need to um, transform it's a transformation that you earth signs are going through and this is been shown in the first week and if you do that love is going to come in because the page of um, cups is, is is love coming in but this love that is coming in is a sort of a love a true positive love so some people will connect with their kids some people will connect with younger people who is uh, helping them to go through the self work okay as we look at the second week and we're moving forward to the second week we have the energy vibration of art break and loss in the reverse form thank the Lord it is in the reverse form so what this is saying is that by healing your heart chakra in the first week in the second week you have learned to overcome the art break and loss so this is no longer affecting you because you have healed whatever that heartbreak and loss was in your life and you are recovering from this because you learn how to deal with this sort of a thing in your life okay the second energy that I have is gratitude so say thank you to the lesson no matter how hard the lesson was say thank you to the lesson say thank you to the people because whenever you go through heartbreaks and loss in certain things is a lesson that you need to learn so you need to go back and kind of figure out what was the lesson in this situation what it is that I need to learn from this situation was it a lesson or was I just helping people um, to um, heal their karmic situation because most earth sign peoples come in to heal other people so you'll find out that you um, your whole life has been in turmoil and um, it's because you're helping other people to go through their own um, cosmic um, cleansing okay so you're wondering because you choose to be born as an earth sign and to be born as an earth sign you not only heal the energy vibration of mother earth but you also are healing 
other people so you will have situation you wonder why why do I attract these things to you no you don't attract them to you it is that you have signed a contract to help these people to work out so no matter how bad the situation is and I have been there so that's why I can tell you no matter how bad a situation is how people will break you down and lie and this sort of a thing and then you have no trust in humanity anymore that sort of a thing what happened is that once you heal your heart chakra you begin to feel unconditional love and you can let go of the loss in your life for people who are going through grief this is um a week that you need to heal this grief because the ill come in the week before and then you're going to understand that okay i understand that whoever you're grieving over came to this planet for a short time they had blessed my heart with wonderful things so you need to understand it and have gratitude and say thank you for those people because they're in the spirit world helping you and whenever you grieve and hold on to someone they cannot evaluate in the spirit world because you're still grieving and you're holding them back if you understand the process that we all came here for lessons we're all here on a journey then you will understand that you can move and um, uh, heal the situation whatever is happening this night of uh, um, once comes in and this night of once is has the energy vibration of ambition that you're moving forward and this can affect people that you have ill whatever emotional situation you're ill the grief and you're moving forward in ambition but yet still i'm seeing the energy that he has to do with um somebody who's also um you know eating up your energy this person is really really um, eating up your energy so it could be someone who uh, have the energy of the fire of ones that is grieving and and who has passed over and they're holding you back because you're grieving or you are, are grieving for them so you need to let go it can be a partner that has crossed over and you're still holding on to this person because whatever is happening this person is um, taking your energy this person is really um, taking your energy so you have to be aware of what is happening okay this is a form of grieving um, because the art is there you you say uh, you know thank you to whatever lesson this person have have, have but they're they're they're, they're healing the energies they're eating your energies they're eating your energies up and this is a very important that you know that this how you feel has to do with somebody who's the knight of a, a Leo, um, a, of a, an Aquarius, of a Sagittarius, okay? And they're grieving, they could be grieving for you, and you're feeling they're um, grieving, okay? It, it, it can work both ways. It can be someone who um, feel um, emotion, an emotional loss. Um, it can be that you have chosen not to, um, to, to um, vibrate with this person because um, certain aspect of yourself and this person is not uh, um, vibrating at a high energy vibration and this person could be grieving over you and you are feeling also this grieving so you know you need to protect yourself because people can mentally um, your energies and this is an energies vibration um, if someone is grieving or thinking about you if there was the end of a relationship because it has to do with relationship it has to do with connection with another person because it's working on the heart chakra so if someone was um, grieving for you or is grieving for you you're going to feel that because that person is sending out the grieving energy of I miss you I wish you and this you know so you are feeling the effect so realize that if you feel tired and you're feeling sad but you're not aware of why you're tired and sad someone is grieving over you and you are feeling this coming back at you okay yeah yeah the third week is the most wonderful and beautiful week, especially for the women out there. You women, congratulations, you Virgo women. It's a wonderful week for the Virgo women. For the men also, it's a wonderful week for all the Virgos because you have the energy of the world. And the energy of the world is as if they the world energy governs you. The energy of the world is the end of the um, grief 
heartache, pain, emotional pain, and new beginnings are going to happen for you. New beginnings are going to happen for you. This month of July is a lot of cleansing, a lot of healing for a lot of signs. So you are the first one to get the energy of the world energy so this is wonderful for you Virgos this is a positive positive energy that is happening for you Virgos um, in the third week third week it's going to be a wonderful week because the word come in and miracles came back also for another earth sign you Virgos they came for the Tauruses so miracles in the third week also was here for the Tauruses so obviously the energy vibration of the hurt and the um, angels and masters of the hurt or healing the earth sign people before you change your zodiac sign so it's as if they're coming in for the next um, six months to heal you before you transform to the energy of the fire signs okay so it's a huge transformation for you earth sign people but it's not that bad because you're just moving back to fires all the sir uh, so the uh, earth sign people um, there with the 13 um, sign coming to play they are moving back to fire signs so this is good this is extremely good for you Virgos and the hurt um, with miracles what the energy vibration the goddesses of the hurt Lady Nada and all these wonderful um, um, goddesses and goddesses and 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 um, ascendance master that is governing you guys uh, are saying you know good things are about to come in miracles are about to happen in your life this is wonderful the next energy you have is um the hermit so the hermit the energy of the hermit the wisdom knowledge information um that sort of a thing is going to be um coming in for a lot of people so if you're a writer it's going to be the third week a lot of things is going to flow for you for the writers out there in the third week a lot of stuff is going to flow a lot of stuff is going to flow in your life and this is going to be extremely positive and good so congratulations you guys it's going to be healing but um, it's going to be a spiritual healing it's going to be your guides and angels you're working with your cosmic family that sort of a thing the healing of you removing away from uh, um, the spirit the the earth energy to the fire energy um, this is going to happen for a lot of a lot of you Virgos a lot of you Virgos from now until the end of December you're going to see this happening um, in the time of your birthdays you're going to see wonderful new energies wonderful new situation that's going to affect your life we are moving on and the women you know the third week is going to affect a lot of women out there so you Virgos in the third week you women out there it's going to affect you endings are going to come miraculous solutions are going to happen for you Virgos in a wisdom so if you're a writer the third week or as you um, connect with a spiritual world the third week is going to be an, a profound positive week okay we're moving on to the fourth week and the fourth week you're ending the month with the energy vibration of, of, of uh, um, emotional loss emotional loss so this is good some people don't see it as good but it is a good card emotional loss whenever you are moving away for with emotional loss and ending a month with emotional loss what this is saying to you is that you have healed your um, you have healed emotional pain that you have been having because what is happening is that in the first week you have um, the art chakra in the second week you have um, a heartbreak and, and loss in the reverse form and in the third week you have the world so this is good it's a cleansing you can see a cleansing going on here because what is happening is that the you're ending the month of July with emotional loss that means the emotional situation that you have been always carrying they are coming to an end and this is good as we look at the next energy we have the energy of wisdom so with all dealing and working on um, that aspect of yourself your emotional pain and releasing it uh, you gain wisdom in in place of that you have gained wisdom in place of that so you need to understand what is happening to you guys because by re healing all the emotion and this is what i'm saying to um vibrate on this planet we need to um, release and heal our emotional um, situations that we carry around and by doing that you will realize that the energies of help come in the last card that we have for you is the energy of the nine of 
uh, and of, of strength of strength inner strength and this is good so you have regained inner strength and this is true people there are people who cry and when they cry they uh, clean their um, soul and regain inner strength and this is good so um, you would realize that people who are going through emotional roller coasters they're always crying it's like um, you ju you can just say something and they're always crying it's because they're going through an emotional roller coaster so they the crying is healing their soul and by healing their soul they will regain um, in a strength this is a wonderful profound month for you guys even if the energies and this is what I'm saying sometime healing has to come in the month of July is your month of healing um, this healing is going to leave a wonderful um, energy of you really really connecting your heart chakra is going um, you're feeling good in yourself and this is going to bring you wonderful positive energies and this is going to bring you to an understanding and knowing where you are and this is good whatever is happening whatever grief that is happening whatever situation that is happening between you and the knight of ones um, for some people whatever grief that he uh, or you are sending out and this has to do with someone that you have connected with and uh, I'm sorry I had to give the message again someone you have connected with and this person um, you are not feeling there is something that you're not feeling um, that you're connecting with this person that somehow this person is not being honest about something and he is grieving over you let him grieve over you because um, he isn't honest and you have felt that uh, he or she because it can also be a woman wasn't honest and you have felt that energy vibration from that person and you have hold out your hand and you have gave a stop to it and this person is grieving but um, you know when when that sort of a thing happened because it's, it's it's over someone that you wanted to connect with on an intimate basis and you realized that he was honest about something so here you are just letting it go and he's still grieving uh, he or she is still grieving um, let it go just heal this is a month of healing your emotional situations okay love let's see what we have for love for you Virgos in this month no more heartbreaks you Virgos you have been breaking people hearts no more heartbreak the week in the first week I should say to you Virgos that you're going to meet a, a very good someone who's going to um, be a very good friend to you and the self-worth in this week also the first week is going to help you to move um, forward move your life forward let's see what you have as love uh, really mm. okay as love um, energy of love for the Virgos Woo. wow this is beautiful you guys love is gonna be strong mm. okay the love is going to be strong for you, Virgos. So, oh, okay. Love is very, going to be very strong. Okay. Um, something is happening. Yeah. The love is going to be very strong for you, Virgos. The, the energy of love is going to be profoundly strong in the month of July. Okay. In the first week, I have, and I better replace it how it was. In the first week, I have a situation of people who are connecting with, um, water people the Pisces the Kansas and the scorpion um, there is something happening there which uh, you know uh, it's 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 uh, something is happening which is you know for you guys this is not really he could have been a friend and he wants to be a lover and he's like changing his mind so whatever is happening um, in the first week for love for you guys it's as if he was a friend and then he wanted to become lovers with you and then he's changing his mind now so he's looking somewhere else so 
let him go okay whatever that was he or she so if you um, were in a relationship or you're about to be in a relationship but you weren't in a relationship with this person this person was um, very good friends you have become very good friends and then as if he wanted you and you weren't ready and he's looking someplace else that mean it wasn't meant to be bye let's look at the fourth week the fourth week um, you had the energy in the fourth week of uh, heartbreaks and loss and your balance in that so I again thank you to my guides and angels so again you are balancing that you're learning how to deal with the heartbreak and loss and you're balancing that so this is good so in the fourth week it's going to be good so whoever is going through heartbreaks and loss you're balancing out that you're understanding how you need to deal with this pain you're dealing this with this pain and you're moving out of the energy vibration with this pain and this is going to be extremely good so this is a wonderful wonderful focus for you guys in the second week who has been dealing with art breaks um, it's going to come to an end you're learning to balance it you're learning to understand what has happened you're learning to um, know how to balance this and move on in your life which is going to be extremely good okay for the third week which is one of your best weeks you guys out there in the vibrational energy of love for the women okay men do not say it's if it's not for us to it's all about the women in the third week I'm sorry guys you came up in the first and second week but oh for the women in love in the third week this is going to be positive you're going to meet a soulmate or a twin flame whatever um, you're looking for whatever relationship whoever you're looking for you are going to meet that person in the third week I'm sorry I have to see so love positive love positive energies are coming in the fourth week for you ladies ladies be ready because your soulmate relationship is coming in your twin flame relationships is coming in you ladies out there congratulations so love is going to be extremely positive for you ladies in the third week for the men it's also going to be positive it's, it's going to be positive but I'm seeing the energy vibration of all these women they're connecting with their soulmates their partner and that sort of a thing the men it will be happening but on a lower pitch but the women are having this whole um, uh, elevation a sort of a, a huge love fever it's as if you women are throwing out that feeling of, of connecting with other people and attracting you're throwing out it's as if you're throwing out your um, fish thing and you're attracting all these um, men to you and you're going to meet your twin flame and seas and twin seal in the fourth week Love in the fourth week is going to be positive for the men. For the men, it's going to be positive. You are going to meet uh, um, the Queen of Cups, which is a Pisces. You're going to meet a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpion. Whoever that person is, the Pisces, can Pisces, um, Cancer, or Scorpion. Whoever that person is. A woman is coming in your life she is going to bring you in a wisdom so in the fourth week you're going to meet this woman who is a, a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion and I see that these three water energies are going to be connecting with the energy of you um, Virgo men and it's also for the Virgo women to you be connected with the King of Cups okay and the King of Cups is also the Pisces the Crave the Cancer or the um, Scorpion and this is going to be wonderful whatever is happening love for you guys is very promising in this old month so in the fourth week expect to meet you're going to connect with water sign people they're going to be attracted to you you are going to be attractive to them in the fourth week okay wow and love is 
positive for you guys in this month of July it's as if um, you're ill in your heart chakra and then you're learning how to deal with disappointments and uh, heartbreak and loss and then the world is going to open up and, and, and send the right people into your life and then you're going to move on and understand that whatever emotional situation you had in your life it's behind you and you're looking forward and this is going to be extremely positive for you guys it's going to be wonderful it's going to be positive okay i'm moving on to the zodiac energies of the sun sign the virgo sun sign the virgo sun sign and with the virgo sun sign as i've said you're working working with water people so the virgo sun signs who are you if you were born between the hours of 6 a.m and 6 p.m you are a sun person and the virgo sign of you people what is happening is that the fire the pisces are coming in there's a lot of people who are going to work with pisces people in the month of july okay so i've said and i've just said it that love with the Pisces people in the last week this is going to be profoundly so because the energy of what is happening for you guys is that you're working with a lot of Pisces people in this month okay um, the Pisces is um, intuition people so as I said um, people who are writers um, you're going to connect with these people they're going to awaken your inner wisdom because they are governed during the planet of Neptune and what is happening is that they are touching you and opening up and releasing information to you guys okay and you know relation um, information can release um, um, to someone else in different different ways uh, uh, but ask for a general reading and <laughs> ask for a reading and then you'll get it because this is a general reading each person is different the next energy we have here is Satu um, Saturum and he is here again he's working with the earth people because he's coming up for the earth people i see him coming up for the earth people this is the goddess of so, so um of uh, so, um, Satu, um saturn and saturn is the energy vibration um that the capricorn people uh, carry so the capricorn people are really balanced people you know they are really balanced they have to do with a career aspect you know so a lot of you people the capricorns are going to help you to with your career situation whatever is going on your career you're going to change who you are you're going to change your career and the capricorn people seems to be helping a lot of people change in their careers to find their divine life part so expect this to happen for you guys okay so you're working with the pisces and the capricorn which is really two of the most um, valuable signs to work with because the Capricorns are also spirituals but so for you Sun people whatsoever is happening there is a spiritual healing that is going to happen because um, you're working with the energy of uh, um, the Pisces and the Pisces are also um, highly um, intuitive people and they work with the spirit side the unseen world and you're also working with the Capricorns who is really grounded and they are the positive energies of uh, this um, earth energy vibration they're very spiritual okay whatever if even they're not aware they're very spiritual they know that they're um, connected to the earth so this is going to be um, your energies for you Sun people your son Virgo in the month of July this is wonderful actually this is extremely wonderful okay as we go forward we're going to look at the Luna people the moon people what is happening for the moon people who are the moon Virgos these are people who were born between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. so if you were born in the night between 6 um, p.m. and 6 a.m. you are a moon sign person okay so what is happening for you what is happening for you is the changing of the guards honestly people because what happened is that sometimes whenever I, I get these energies so you have first Jupiter Jupiter is the planet of love and the energy of Jupiter you will be um, luck a lot of luck are coming out for you moon people whatever is happening luck your luck is going to change to a wonderful promising positive energy vibration because you're working with the planet of Jupiter so you will find out that the the people who um, carries the energy vibration of Jupiter is going to be connecting with you 
and it's they can carry it in different different forms but they are going to be connected with you and this is going to be extremely positive so luck is coming in for you moon people and what else is coming in is a love so they don't really say to you what, what kind of people I know what kind of people are going to work with you but if I give you all the information you never ask for a reading so here we go <laughs> um luck and love is going to be very positive for you uh, moon sign people so this is really positive this is really a shifting of the guards because you are working with Jupiter and Venus which is the, the Venus is the planet of love and Jupiter is the planet of luck so a lot of luck in love is going to come in for you guys which is just going to be positive and um, a very promising and this is it this is what I'm saying to people is that these general readings gives you a lot of information but yet still um, because it's a general reading it can affect people in different ways because I can change this energy vibration of this reading because some people will be affected by love some people will be affected by luck some people might have luck and love and some people might have um, uh, luck luck and love in uh, in the same thing so this is what I'm saying to a lot of people um, like a lot of people who I connect with and I'm saying you know the time has changed so some people can be given reading for the next nine years but that is not a positive way of doing something because the next nine ways some people can change their energy vibration because you can change your energy vibration you change your energy vibration just every time of the day so you can't really people cannot really even say yeah I'm giving you a reading for the next nine years no because um, within um, the next six months it's going to be changing nothing is as if we we are vibrating out of the third D dimension so we can't hold so whenever say people say yeah um, this reading is for the next nine years or this reading is for the next six months no because you can't give a reading for the next six months because the only reading you can give is even with a planetary aspect everything is going out of walk the last time so and nothing is positive nothing is set so again um, I'm wishing you guys a wonderful wonderful month please remember to listen to the general readings your Sun moon and rising sign readings and connect um, with us in whatever way you can please share this videos leave a message thumbs up and I'm saying namaste until next month